Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers the behind the scenes video going over to Portugal now I'm hoping the weather's not like this in Portugal I'm on my way over to Manchester look at it is this just not horrendous I'm up on the moors going over uh, it's not a snake is it it's the other one Woodhead Woodhead Pass and look at the state of this weather I'm sat at traffic lights at the moment and uh, on the way to the airport I'm running a little bit late I'm not gonna lie I've got three hours before my flight but I've got to go and park up so what I usually do is I'll go and park up in a part of Manchester get on the tram at Martinscroft and get the tram to the airport which is what I'm gonna do now well not this second because I'm sat in traffic but yeah I'll head over there get on the tram and then check in and I've only got one bag so it doesn't take long so I don't have to be there too early so I'm, it's all right I've got plenty of time not panicking just yet but I had to go back because I'd left my debit card at home <laughs> what an idiot I'd, I'd had it in my pocket for my shorts and then I thought you know what I'm gonna put these different shorts on I've put three pairs of shorts on um so I don't have to put them in my bag because I'm saving on space and I'm tight and I don't want <laughs> I don't want to pay for an extra bag because I'm tight so yeah I've got three pairs of shorts on and I almost forgot my debit card but we're on course now luckily I'd not got all the way here and then remembered I'd only got a couple of miles from home so it wasn't too bad right so you know what I've got a banging headache I've got a really bad headache and my shoulders hurting again I'm just falling to pieces man falling to pieces <laughs> Right, so I'm at the tram. I think it's got three minutes, three minutes till it's here. It's very windy, but luckily not raining, which is good. So I'm not gonna make you listen to loads of wind noises. Um, and I don't mean mine, I mean the actual sky wind stuff. You know what I mean? I'll see you on the tram. Hi, I'm on the tram, but as usual, I'm running late. I've got about an hour and 45 before my, my flight takes off. I should have been there like an hour ago, but I, like I said, I had to go back for my card. So I'm just going to rush through the airport and I'll see you at the plane. Right, I'm at Manchester Airport and I'm in a bit of a rush now. What time is it? Let's have a look. 4.36. 4.36 and the flight takes off at quarter past six and I'm not even through security or anything. So. I'm gonna bomb. No, I can't say that word. Not in an airport. I'm gonna rush up here and get to where I need to be. Right, it's proper dead down here. Those escalators are turned off as well. I was hoping they were gonna be on today, like the floor ones that I can just run along, but they're off. So it's just a case of using my normal stupid legs. So, oh Lord. I better not miss this flight. I honestly don't think there's a flight that I'm not late for. I'm always on the last push, always. I think I've got loads of time and I haven't. One of these days I'll be here early, but it's banging it down outside. You can hear it hitting that glass over there. Right, anyway, like I said, I'll see you at the plane. Jesus, that was, that was stressful. So there's been a security alert and every single person's bags had to be searched coming through security. And as you can imagine, chaos. Now I've just come through and it says, your flight is boarding, but I've just looked. Massive queue still, so I'm not too concerned, but it is worrying when things like that happen. Right, I'm gonna get in this queue. Jesus Christ. Surely they could have sent us out in like twos and threes. I'm here and it's a lot warmer here than it was in Manchester. Anyway, I've got to squeeze on this bus now. It looks very full. So I'm going to crack on and do that. Right. I'm in the airport. I've got my Starbucks because it could be a long night, depending 
I actually don't know where I'm going. Um, depending, oh, car rental this way. Depending on what I decide to do, because it's like 10 o'clock now. So I don't know whether to go out and do some exploring tonight or rest or book a hotel or not. I haven't really decided. Uh, I'll work it out when I get the car. Where is this car thing? Please. Car rental this way. So let's go get the car. Right, I've got my car. I, bu I booked it for half past six and it's like 10 o'clock. I've got a nice Ford Puma. It, it looks all right, it's quite big. Nice for me to, uh, to have a sleep in. Although, look at me splashing out. I've just booked. Oh God. I just booked a hotel for the night because why not? It was 30 quid, it was 28 quid in fact, which is even better. So I'm gonna go and try and work out where that is, but I also have a couple of locations here. So I thought, why not do those tonight or one of those tonight? And then I can just go and chill out and have a nice relaxed morning knowing I've done one already. Right, I've parked the car up. I'm gonna go and try and find where I'm staying. You know what though? There's some nice looking food places and stuff about. It looks really good here. Like, I don't know why, Lisbon's not somewhere I've ever thought about coming. It's nice. It's like, I don't know, I can't, it's very, like it's 11 o'clock at night and it is really busy. Like really, really busy. I've just come past some restaurants that look so good. And their Christmas decorations, they've got them everywhere. There's loads, like there's not very many around where I am now but there's loads about. Like that's the only one round here, a little, well it's not little, it's huge to be fair, but, but yeah, some good looking buildings knocking about and some food places. So I'm gonna head up back in the direction of where I'm staying and then uh, dump my stuff and go for some food, I think. Right, so I'm here. I think where I'm staying is up here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. Some of these buildings are good though. Like really old buildings that have been converted. Like the tiles on that must have been a pain in the arse to tile that. But anyway, there's an Indian restaurant there. And you know what I'm like for my curries? There's loads down here to be fair. And there's pictures of goats on them all. So I'm reckoning goat is, is eating a lot around here. Wow, look at it. Like, these are just the back streets. And there's some lovely looking restaurants. And these buildings. Hotel 1908. I wish I was staying in there. That looks really good. But yeah, I think we're up this way around the corner up here somewhere. Soon work it out, I'm sure. But yeah, it's beautiful around here. Right, I'm in my hotel. I, I don't know which my, one my room is. It's one of these virtual check-in things. It's always the same. This is what happened to me and Andy when we were in Madrid. And then, we couldn't actually get in the room once we get in here. So, I don't really know which one my room is. I'm just gonna keep going upstairs and setting off all these lights. But it seems really nice. Like outside, it's always the same. On the street outside, it always looks an horrible, scabby mess. But then, oh wait. There's a number on the door. I'm gonna to have to have a look in the emails to make sure I'm not missing something. Right, I've got in, this is my room. It's only small, but to be fair, double bed. I am sweating. It's like 19 degrees. What we got in here? Shower, toilet, that is all I need. It said it was a shared bathroom as well, which is brill. I'm happy, like there's no room at the end of the bed. There's a little table for me to sit and edit. But I'll take this, that, it's this, the shower. That's what I'm excited about. How ridiculous is that? But yeah, nice bed for the night. Right, that's everything on charge in the room, sorted. I've got to remember I'm on the fourth floor. I've got a code to get up these into this door. So we're all right. But I'm going, I need to go and get some food. I did have a sandwich on the plane, but that was like, four and a half hours ago, five hours ago. I'm not really eating for the rest of the day. So I need to crack on and get out of there before it shuts because it's like midnight. So everything's gonna be shut soon. So I need to crack on and get out there.
Right, so this is the outside of the place where I'm staying. Like I said, they always look a bit grubby. Look, there's like graffiti and stuff. But inside the places, usually really nice. And people get put off by things like this. And it don't bother me at all, because I'm not sleeping out on this street. And yes, people might say, oh, I'm gonna get mugged and stuff like that. It isn't like that at all. I'll show you around this corner in a second. It's just normal. This is just what it's like in a lot of European cities. It's just sort of normal for it to be like this. And then you literally get around the corner and it's like this. So the bit that I was up at a minute ago with the big building and the lights, and then there's all food areas up this way as well. And the further you go up, up there, the more food places you get to, the more sort of like really nice areas. But like I said, a lot of these places are starting to shut now. So I need to go and find somewhere to eat. I'm guessing that's the drinking bit up there because they're all stood out in the street. So we'll head off down this way, I think. And like I was saying, some of these buildings around here are wonderful. I just proper love them. And I just feel like I'm gonna go on about them the whole video. Look at this. 1849, it's got like monkeys. It's got, oh, 1865, it says up there. I know, 1865. It's got a, a stereotypical Chinese person and all the different things. But how good is that? Because it's all tiles. That little monkey's good up there as well. So, so good. Absolutely brilliant. And you just don't see stuff like this in the UK. So it's amazing to be able to see stuff like that now. And like I said, my, I'm literally, oh no, that one there, just around that corner there. And you wouldn't even know looking at that little alleyway. We've got like seating areas over here where people are just sat in groups of like mates talking. We've got food places down here. I think I might go for an Indian. I think I'm gonna. You know what I'm like when it comes to having an Indian when I'm exploring. The only problem is, like, if I'm sleeping in the car the next day, that's why I have the problems with the poo <laughs> because of things like that. But I can't resist it. Although I don't want to spend loads. Although, like I said, my hotel was 28 quid, so I can't really complain at that either. Although I've just had to put a 200 quid deposit down for the car, which I didn't think I'd have to, but it's because if I bring the petrol back empty, then one thing or another, oh, it's, I hate car hire, it does my head in. Anyway, we're gonna head. In fact, I don't think we can go that way. I think we can go back up that alleyway that I came up before where all the Indians are, because it looks really good. I wanted to go to the one behind and they've literally just shut. They have just shut. But he said, go down to the one in the street because they're really good and they should still be open. So friendly, so nice. So big, like why are the bin men out at this time? It's all a bit mad really. So I don't know whether it means that one or further down here. We'll have a look around this corner. Oh, oh, it's this one I think. There's people sat in there. God, it's noisy though. Right, I'll go and have a look. Right, so, it's a bit of an Asian fusion place, this. I've gone for, what did I go for now? Uh, Malay chicken skewers, for starter. A um, prawn puree, no, not prawn puree. Kadai, no, I haven't even gone prawn. Chicken kadai, I never go for chicken, but chicken kadai, I love kadai. It's basically something like they cook it in like a pot. The kadai is the pot that they cook it in. And I had it in India and I loved it. It was one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. So I've ordered that. Got some rice, got some chips, what else? And a couple of drinks. But yeah, I am starving now. I can smell all this. And it's really nice in it. It's only quite small, but it's really nice. Like I said, it's only small, but bearing in mind, it is midnight. And it's busy in it. Well, there's like, people sat outside as well. Same total, there's about 20 people here at midnight eating curry. It's mad, absolutely mad. Anyway, drinks are in. Right, chips have turned up. I need the rest to come though. They actually are boiling and really nice. I don't even know what's on them. It's not like paprika. I'm not sure if it's like, I don't know. I can't put the taste down. I'm not sure what it is at all. But anyway, looking forward to the rest of my food to come. I've already made a proper mess, by the way. Look at the state of it on here. Right, so the, ch the chips were supposed to be with my curry, but I'm <laughs> kind of eating them, but they look really good. They look a bit pasty pale, but I bet they taste amazing. I'll let you know in a second. Right, I'm not gonna lie, they're so good. It's like, a bit like Thai green curry, 
but it's got mozzarella and stuff on it as well. It's really nice. I'm not going to film myself eating it though because I hate doing that. Just this world is so small, I tell you now. I've got rest of my foods here now, which is good. Um, but yeah, I've just been speaking to a lady sat on the table next to us. Basically, again, and this one is fantastic. Thank you so much. You are welcome and enjoy your dinner. Yeah, yeah I will do. Thank you. Oh, she's nice. But yeah, the uh, the woman on the table that booked from me was from in Oakland in California. She's originally from Kentucky, but she was asking about why I was here and I actually just heard the, the voice and stuff and she said I should definitely go over to America and stuff like that. So it's really good. Now, when I do these traveling things, I end up talking to people and I'm not like that. You know me. I'll keep myself to myself, but people seem to talk to me. I don't know why, but it's nice. Anyway, look at this food. But I've not even finished eating the starter yet. But we've got uh, chicken kadai, rice, chips, um, garlic naan. That that for me is is the one. I am I'm desperate to get onto that. I'm looking forward to it. Right, it is officially beating me. I am sweating under my eyes as well because it's quite spicy, which is good. I like that. Probably not so good when I'm sleeping in the car tomorrow, but good. Now I've not got much left. I do want, I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking I need to eat this. I need to get another Coke, just a minute. She's gone to get, she's gone to get me a Coke anyway, so. Right, I'm gonna crack on, probably finish the rest of this and then get out of here. Right, that's me done. I don't think that's bad at all. It's like 31 euros, that's like 26 quid. 26 quid for three Coke. Oh, I thought I had 23 Cokes then. They're three Cokes, garlic naan, chicken kadai, fries rice came with the kadai as well and then the tikka kebab i think that's pretty good going to be fair 26 quid and i'll tell you something it was really nice like really nice the starter was amazing but the main course was just so good anyway i don't know what's going off in there there's some english people being sick which doesn't sound great so i'm going back to the room put this on charger a bit and then i'm off out it's one o'clock in the morning and i haven't even started working yet i'm off I told you it was busy though. Like, it's one o'clock in the morning and it's ridiculous to be fair. So, it's weird tonight as well, you know. It's not, it's really warm. I'm in shorts and t-shirt, which is a normal thing, you know it is. But, it's like 18 degrees, 17, 18 degrees, which is warm for this time of year, December. But, it's, uh, it's like moist. The air's like foggy almost, it's odd. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's what three cans of Coke do to you. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the room, put this on charge for a bit, and try not to fall asleep <laughs> before I go out. And I'll see you when I get out there. Right, it's 2.30 a.m. and I'm on my way out. What am I doing? You know what, the thing is, I wouldn't normally do this. Well, I would, I'd come out, but a little bit earlier. But the problem is, my flight was so late and then I've eaten and stuff like that. I haven't had time, but the thing is, I've only got Sunday, it's Saturday today, or it was, it's like early hours of Sunday morning now, but I've only got Sunday, Monday, and then I fly back on Tuesday night. So I haven't got very long. So I need to be taking advantage as much as possible. God knows what is going off here like. There's just people. Just people carrying people around at half past two in the morning. Anyway, I'm heading back to the car. It's about three and a half miles away. I would walk if it were like a mile or something or two, but I don't know if I can be bothered walking a total of seven miles tonight because I do need to sleep as well. Anyway, look, I, I just love it. I love these little things here where they're all sat around talking with music playing. It's so good. Anyway, heading to the car. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I think you can on camera. Like I was saying to you earlier on, it's pretty warm. It's like 18, 19 degrees, which is, which is warm for a December night. But can you see that sort of like hazy fog? The, amp, the air is really damp, like really damp. You can see all like where those lights are, what it's like. And I don't know, it just feels weird. Like the air just feels odd. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just talking rubbish again. I don't know what that is there. God, 
Someone just smashed something over there by accident, I think. So it's 1824, but I don't know what it is. Agoas Livres. Not sure. I think there's some broken glass down there that someone, people keep walking on. Anyway, like I've said, for eight, the eighth time, let's go down to the car. Right, so I've got to what should be the first location. And I ain't gonna lie, it's not looking promising. It's looking like we've possibly missed it by a few months because there's lights on and there's stuff up. I'm still gonna try though, because this place inside is absolutely magnificent. If I don't get in, I'll put some photographs in now. But if I do get in, then you will have seen the amazing video because I know how good it is in here. And it's got a feature that is literally one of my favorite things. And I will be disappointed if I don't get in here, but I don't think I will. But I don't give up easily. So even if it means a quick sneak round and have a look just for my benefit, that's what I'll do. But it's definitely been done up this place, definitely. But I want you to see it before it's lost to the public or to everybody to see. So I'm going around the back. I'm gonna have a look around the back. Right, the first thing I will say is I can see a security office through here, but I can also see an open door. So I don't know if it's worth looking or not. There's lights on everywhere. Look at this, see if I can show you. I don't know if you'll see. Up, oh, where is it? Up oh, there, that light you can see is an open door. But this looks like a security office here, which I don't think you can see very well. And if I try and climb this, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Like that. Now we'll see if it's a security office because if it is, he would have heard that. I think sometimes that's a good thing to do. Make lots of noise and test the security, but it doesn't seem like anyone's coming. But I don't want to get halfway over this fence and him then come. That's the thing. Hmm. Right. I'm going to have a wander around the other side and see where it takes me. Because I don't really want to climb this if I don't have to. And I can't... I thought I could get under there, but I, I don't think I can. I know I can't. I'm, I'm not that thin. And even if I was thin, I'd have to be mega thin. But the good thing is, like I said, I'm making, I'm making noise. And he's not coming. Right, let's go and have a wander right around the building. Now the thing is, it's like almost four o'clock in the morning now. I've not actually got in anywhere, but I've got to think about it like this. I was going to not come exploring tonight. I was just going to go to bed and I have come exploring. So therefore, this is saving me time tomorrow because I don't, if I can't get in here now, definitely not going to get in in the daytime unless I blag my way in somehow. I don't know, but I'm going to go right around the back, like I said. There's big gardens at the other side of these buildings. If I can get over a wall somewhere, I'm getting in this building, I'm telling you. But it's just this initial getting over a wall and then we go from there. Right, I'm an idiot. So this is where I've just been trying to get in. And then, this is the building I need to get in. I'm a proper idiot. Good job I didn't get in there. I'm in the, wrong, in the wrong place. So I need to be through here, look. And they're obviously doing work in here as well. I'm guessing they're re redoing the whole place around here. Now, 
These gates don't look great either to get over. There's a lock on there. However, these walls are probably easier to get over than those houses are over there. So, let's try and work out how to get in this side now. over the wall and back out I'm safe but you know what I am I am folks I've just almost lost my knackers on that fence as well they got stuck that wasn't comfortable right let's get back out and get to that car and get a drink and I'm staying an extra night in the hotel so I can go and have a bit of a sleep I'll see you in a bit that's that massive bridge we were talking about earlier on you still can't see it for the fog what is that? <laughs> what is that little thing? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I've been sat at these lights for ages. But yeah, you can't even see the bits that go up, like go up, the suspension bits. It's that foggy. So no wonder I didn't get a good sunrise earlier on. Anyway, time to get back. I'm filthy, but the thing is, the worst thing at the moment is my mouth tastes disgusting. I need a drink. I need to brush my teeth because you've got to think I haven't brushed my teeth since yesterday morning when I first woke up. They definitely drive some weird stuff around here. It's like a little Piaggio thing. I don't even know what it is. But it's a whole little item. Anyway, I've got maps on this phone, so it keeps like telling me where to go when I'm trying to film, so there's no point. So I'll see you when I get back. Right, even though I'm exhausted, I just want to go to sleep. I'm also very hungry, so. I'm going back to the place where I had my curry last night because they do breakfast. I'm just going to get some breakfast. I've got a bag full of drinks for the room, but I've got no food. So I want to get something in here if it's open. Right, okay, I'm not having breakfast in there because they're not open. Why leave your door open if you're not open? But anyway, I'll go and find something else somewhere, I'm sure. And if I don't, I'll go to sleep. Not going to lie. I don't think I've ever been this tired. I feel like I might have already said that like a minute ago, but that just proves what I'm saying. I'm walking like an old man. I cannot lift my feet properly. I'm just full on exhausted. These do breakfast, but are they open? What do they do? Uh, croissant, crepes. No, I want something warm. I know crepes and croissants can be warm, but I, I want something big and meaty, and I don't mean a penis. Right, I'm just going to keep walking until I get back. I'm just going to fall down dead, I think, in a minute. I've had a can of Red Bull. I'm going to have a bottle of water, I think, next. I think that's a sensible thing to do. And then I'm going to die. Right, my, ho my hotel is just up there. I'm going here. I'm just going to get some pancakes, I think. Or I could get chicken, salmon and avocado. But a coffee does sound good, to be fair. Oh, salmon and Philadelphia. On, uh, on a croissant. That sounds good as well. Right, I'm going to sit down. Right, so I went for a cappuccino and a uh, croissant with salmon on. My brain has gone. I cannot think what I'm thinking or think what I'm saying, say what I'm thinking. I can't speak. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm dead, I'm gone, I've, I've, I've died, mentally died. I have also ordered something else, I can't remember what. Pancakes, ordered pancakes as well, because why the fuck not? What's wrong with my voice? I've, I've told you, dead. Jesus. Right, I'm gonna crack on and eat and uh, get some nice photos because the salmon um, 
whatever it's called is gone brain gone coffee's still here and look what's turned up oh boosh can't wait to eat this bad boy i am starving still right so i've just watched the live um not the live the premiere i fell asleep halfway through i just first of all i dropped the phone on my face and then I fell asleep for about 20 minutes and people were like, he's definitely going to sleep. I don't know whether to have a, I've only had 20 minutes sleep since yesterday. My eyes are a bit red, but I want to get out and I want to do stuff. I don't want to waste my time here. I'm not here long enough. All right, so I've had 20 minutes and I just feel like I can't sleep anymore. I've sort of gone past it. I had that little power nap and I feel all right. My eyes are watering now. And I feel like I should go and get some food. <laughs> but I also feel like at the moment, all you've seen me do is eat. <laughs> so it's a bit weird. I, I feel like I shouldn't be. Right, so got some food. Yeah. I've only got chips so far, but I am, I can't remember. I think pasta, pasta and chips, which is like carb overload. But I just feel like I need it. I feel, I feel dead, I feel dead. I've got a Coke, which is just typical me. I'm actually having tablets. I've got Cocodamol. I've got a fresh made lemonade and some chips and pasta, which is just a bit of a weird combination, but is what it is. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go off and do a video, a Tuesday video later on, and then maybe a big explore tonight. But I just I feel like I should get a couple of hours sleeping somewhere. Just don't know where yet. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and eat these. Right, food done again. I feel like I've just got back from a night, a big night out drinking. I literally feel like, because that, that's the thing. When you go, get bladdered like on a big night out, you think it's the alcohol. But actually, the majority of feeling shit is not having any sleep. And that's what, I thought I've got some on me then, but it's on the screen. Um, that's what I'm feeling now. I'm feeling very tired. But I think for me, if I go back into the room now, I'm going to feel absolute dog shit for the rest of the day. So, my plan is to go and make a second channel video. No, not a second channel video, a Tuesday video. So, I'm gonna, I think I wanna go, let's go have a look at a castle. There's Lisbon Castle. Go up there, take the drone, get some footage up there. I've not slept in the last 27 hours, so I am tired. So walking up big ass hills is just not gonna help me at all. So anyway, we'll see what we can find and see if we see anything good on the way and hopefully, we we'll want to get a cracking view across Lisbon, which is really what I want as well. You see, the thing is, I like doing this. I could get in the car, I could drive there, I could get on public transport, I could go that way, but I'm going up other little back alleys and the roads, and you see stuff you just wouldn't normally see. Like, look at this on this wall over here. It's mad. It's crazy. And the hill down there where we've come from, the buildings are amazing, like proper good architecture and stuff. But it's not all like that. Like look at these flats, for example, like proper 1970s, 60s, horrible flats. But then look at that. How cool is that? Some like real, for, for spray paint there's some real texture and detail going into that it's so so good i do appreciate a good piece of artwork like that i know a lot of people think it's vandalism and stuff but that isn't that's art not just like these horrible tags you see everywhere that is like proper proper artwork like don't get me wrong some of the little crappy graffiti is <laughs> all right like this is wonderful <laughs> It's a three-boobied lady. You can't beat a three-boobied lady. I don't know why she's got no arms, though. What's happened to the rest of her arms? She's been in a terrible accident. Maybe uh, 
<laughs> I don't know where she's been born, but there's been some sort of nuclear disaster where she was born for her to get three boobs and no arms. Anyway, let's, let's carry on up here. I'm just raving about how I like to go walking on the back alleys. Why are the back alleys all so hilly? I'm dead as it is. This is not, this is not helping at all. My legs are so tired. I'm just so tired. I can't wait to be dead one day. And I don't have to do any of this anymore. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only messing about. I know how lucky I am. But, like I say, you get to see the real Portugal, where actually people live, not just the uh, showy bits. Don't get me wrong, a lot of these buildings are really old anyway, and quite cool. So, it's not like we're up here in the slums or anything. Like, I'm not sure if I'd wanna hang my washing out like that, but I suppose if that's the, the option you've got, you've gotta do it, haven't you? Anyway, let's keep going. And I think it's not gonna be that far up here. It says it's a 25 minute walk, but what we got, 19 minutes left. So hopefully the sun will still be up. Now I can actually see the castle from here. I'm not gonna show you yet because I want you to see it closer up than this because it just won't look as impressive for you. So, but one thing I will say, there's loads of graffiti that is very political, like proper political. Um, I don't want to show it because I don't want to get into the conversation about it, but like the graffiti back in the UK is like a picture of a knob or someone's tag or someone's name or somewhat stupid but it's all very like almost positive political like stop wars and things like that it's, it's quite different really there seems to be a lot of steps everywhere i keep noticing loads of big things of steps wherever i go it's a very hilly place Especially because we're that close to the water as well. You'd think it'd be sort of semi-flat. But anyway, once again, we'll keep going. Right, so you can't see, but around that corner up there, there's a church and there's people up there. I think it's like a viewing gallery. Tempted to go up there as well, to be fair. But then I was looking at this. I thought it was just like where it had all, the plaster had fallen off. And then I've realized it's faces. When I first looked at it, I sort of like, I looked at like bits like that and I didn't really even sort of recognise what it was. That's really good. I don't know what it's there for, it's just really good. Now I would say Lisbon is a weird place really. It's sort of almost like a city of two sides. You've got all the beautiful areas, but alongside that, and I mean like in the same areas, there's still the graffiti, there's still the rubbish, there's still things that you sort of look at as a negative stuff. But actually, I don't know, I've not looked at it like that. I've sort of felt it just is what it is. It's like part of the fabric of the place and it sort of makes it what it is. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain what I mean really. It, it's not, I don't know. I, I, I know what I mean, it's just hard to explain. But yeah, it's, it's a very odd place. And there's a lot of graffiti, three boobied women, but there's lots of graffiti of different sorts all over. Look, this is the church up there. Now there is, I don't even know what that is. I think it's like a, not a cable car. What's the other one? Like a little train thing. I'm tempted to go up there as well, you know. Right, the castle is on that hill. So I don't know whether to have a look up here. What is this, what is this train track thing for? And is it gonna kill me walking up here? I don't know what to do. Castle, church, or both. I always say you're only here once. And if you don't do it, you'll regret it. I want to do both, even though it might kill me going up these steps, because there's a lot of steps. Also, I need to do this while there's no one around. I needed to get that out of my system, because it's been 
forcing its way out for the last five minutes. Anyway, I'm going up. Bro, this is killing me. This is absolutely killing me. What a, what a choice I made. Oh, I've already, before I even got in this morning, after exploring, I'd already done seven miles walking around abandoned buildings. So, this is not what I needed. Well, it is, because I'm fat. This is actually what I do need, because I'm so unfit at the moment. I've put so much weight on. Since, since Andy's took a step back, I've, I've done more driving round. I've eaten more when I've been out exploring. Although me and Andy used to eat McDonald's after McDonald's. Oh my God. But it's because we, uh, we've been going and staying in places and I've needed quick food. So I've just eaten too much. So I'm gonna do the, the old new year, new me kind of thing and lose some weight again, I think. All right, I made it just about. Look at the sweat on my head, I'm like sweaty gear. But there's all craft stalls up here, people playing music and the view. I can't wait to see this view. But yeah, look, it's got little uh, crafty stalls, all different stuff, like bracelets, scarves and jewelry, and some good old cheese. Can't beat a bit of cheese. Right, I'm keeping the camera down, but I'm trying to not look myself as well, because I want to show you. I'm trying not to look that way, although it's now in front of me as well. Oh, look over here, it's done. I don't want to see it until I can see it. Oh, it's almost impossible, it's all around me. Let's look at the church quickly. Look at this. Right, let's get down and have a look. Right, look at this for a view. Right across the city. See all the buildings, right? We were down, you see the bridge there, look? That's where I was exploring just the other side of that earlier on. I was almost underneath it. So where I was exploring is just, just over the top of that hill. So I've seen it was a bit like the Golden Gate Bridge. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I really want to get the drone up, but I don't know whether I'll get in trouble. I might try. Right, so I've just got all the drone out, got it all set up, ready to go, and I'm in a no-fly zone. Basically, the airport is just over there. There's a military zone just over there. I am screwed if I send it up. Um, <laughs> I literally tried to as well, and then I thought better of it. So we're gonna have a quick look in here. Uh, then, oh God, I feel like I've just got sweat all over this. That's better than sweaty because I've tucked it down the top of my shorts like I always do with my phone. Right, so we've looked over there, we're looking here, and then we will head over to the castle. Right, look at this place. This is amazing. I don't know whether I'm allowed to film in here or not, but you know me, I'm not one for rules. Look at it. There's a lady there, so I need to be careful. Oh, look. That's the little nativity scene. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Oh, it's another little nativity scene, but you can't really see it. You can't see it properly because it's so bright. And then look at this one here. I thought there were like three wise men. There's about 72 wise men on this. And it's not focusing for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. But, yeah, look, what's happening here? There we go, it's focusing now. That was weird. Maybe Jesus, why have those little boys got the willies out? Oh, I don't know if Jesus wanted to be filmed with his willy out in the middle of there anyway. Look at some of this stuff in here. Look at the artwork. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to go in the bit around the corner. But we'll see. 
Well, I just walked past her like I was supposed to be here. But wow, look at this central courtyard. This is so good. Now there is a bit of the terrace up here that you do have to pay for, I know that. But this is like an abandoned building, look at this. So the monks will have all spent their time around here, like, is it convalescing? But look at it. I didn't think it was like this in the center. I thought it was just one big building. But it definitely does look like an abandoned building in places. The windows look like they've had no work done on them forever. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if we can get up that tower without paying. That didn't work. I tried to walk in with the other two people that walked in with tickets and she, she clocked me. She spoke to them in Portuguese and literally looked at me and spoke to me in English. She knew, she knew 100%. So I'm not gonna try it again. I, I feel a bit bad trying to do a amount of money with places like this, but it's like, I don't know, the church gets enough money, doesn't it? Let's be right. Although, they should be spending it on doing this place up. I can't believe how battered some of the windows are up there. There's broken glass in some of them. It's just not on, really. I look through the window. I know it's a bit hard to see, but there's like broken glass and broken stuff inside. It is just like an abandoned building that they've decided to do up little bits of it and leave the rest to just be a state, which seems a bit odd. Right, we're gonna head over to the castle. Now, I am a little bit gutted because it's literally there. So if I can't fly the drone here, I can't fly the drone there. But what I am gonna do, I know this is cheating really, I'm gonna have a look and see if anybody else has put any drone footage on there that's got authorization to do it. I'm gonna pinch it <laughs> so I can show you. But look, I'll show you the castle from here at least, and then you can see it from the outside. It's there up on the hill, look. Just put this phone down a second, I'll zoom in for you. Yeah, look at that. It's very noisy around here. It's just so beautiful there, to be fair. It is a lovely, like how it's set out, the city. Next to the water, like that, with the big bridge, the castle, and then this, well, I'm gonna say this church, but that's a toilet. <laughs> Maybe not want to look at the toilet. <laughs> Trust me to turn it round and there's a bog behind me. That's ridiculous. Anyway, it's a bit of a walk over there. The sun's going down. I want to get over there as quick as possible. Right, we're going to head off from there. The castle is over behind these buildings. So I'm going to have to go down a big hill to go back up another big hill, which is just ridiculous. My legs are going to drop off at some point. I'm telling you now. However, we should get a really good view of a different part of Lisbon, which is which is good. That's what I wanted to see at the end of the day. Oh, when was this done? It says the date on there, look. MDCCC, so that's 1800. L is a fifth day. And then three X's is three lots of 10. So that's 1882. 1882, this was put down. I don't know how long the church has been there, but yeah, 1882. That's... Uh, don't even look worn out and you look at the roads in the UK that have been there 10 minutes and there's potholes in them and stuff just shows how well things are made back in the day compared to how they made them although there is a distinct smell of shit around here I don't know what that is it must be drains or something but it doesn't smell particularly very nice anyway <laughs> why is there always shit involved even if it's just the smell of shit there always seems to be shit somewhere anyway Let's head this way. I like some of these buildings. I'm not as 1883 though, that building. I like some of these ones with the tiles. I'm not as bothered about the colours on this one, but it is still good. I like that with the blue and the little tiny little bit at the top with the window and the little roof. Although then it's a kebab shop at the bottom, which is a bit, a bit bizarre. But yeah, I just think they look really good, some of these buildings, I really do. And then there's just a big pink one here. I'm zoomed right in, aren't I? I forgot about that. Right, where do we need to go now? Oh, castle, that way. So I'm guessing it's that way. So I've just walked 20 minutes in that direction to find out that I have gone the wrong way. <laughs> so I'm now heading back the way I've just come. Also, right, if you're from the UK, what is this Vimto all about? 
Umto is not supposed to look like that. It tastes like it. It's exactly the same. But what is that all about? Anyway, just thought I'd mention that because I, I thought I would. I don't really know why. Oh, I need to go in one of these shops and get something, but I just don't know what. I didn't mean the ice cream place, although it does look really good. I meant the, the tacky cheap shop to pick up some stuff for some people. But, right, where do I go now? Is it up here? I'm guessing so. Oh, that breakfast looks good. Looks better than what I had. Looks really good. No, I'm not walking all the way up here to get it tomorrow. Right, I thought I'd come all the way up here and it was closed then, but that's just access for cars. Apparently it's down here. Although, still got a funny feeling it might be shut. Just because there's not many people about. You'd think sunset on a Sunday, it'd be rammed with tourists, but it isn't. Maybe it's just not a popular place to come. I don't know. Maybe I've missed sunset and everyone's gone home. Not quite sure, but we'll soon find out. Right, this is the way in. I think, down past all the multitude of graffiti, which is bizarre. Like I said though, it sort of just seems to be normal. It seems to be hand in hand with the city, like it's a normal thing. Whether you agree with it or not, they don't seem to care. <laughs> they don't seem to care at all. So, and like I said, some of it's all right. Right, I don't mind that, although it's a bit wonky. I don't mind it. Hey, I've just noticed there's a dog training school right next to me. Although they are like attacking each other, which is not good. But yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, continue up here. Right, so at the castle walls, I don't know what's going off up there like. This guy's playing his accordion. And I don't know what the, the freaky ass doll's doing here either. Just sat in a window. What a strange place we're in, honestly. Good though, I like it because it's different. I think it's because I'm a bit different, like in a special kind of way, but I think that's it, I like. I don't want to see the normal stuff. I don't want to see the stuff that, like, is just boring and the same in every city. I want quirky, I want different, and this place is definitely giving me that vibe. Now I do need to go in one of these places and get like this sort of strange Portuguese custard tart. Julie, who is a friend of mine that explores over in Ireland, has told me that she's addicted to them. She's also addicted to alcohol and loose men. I'm joking, um, but, but yeah, she's told me I need to go and find some of those, so I'm going to do that at some point, because obviously I've not eaten enough yet. Some really talented artists as well, like literally painting at the side of the street, so you know it's their artwork, it's not just like prints. And look, 1846, this, this gate, I don't know if the whole castle's from then, I don't think it will be. But this gate is at least. Right, let's keep going. Gotta say, it is pretty, pretty. It is pretty, pretty round here. And I suppose it's because I can't get my head round that it's it's Christmas and I'm somewhere warm. I am like literally sweating my arse off at the moment. So it's a bit odd. Oh, it's looking like we're gonna have to pay the tickets to get in, which I don't mind doing here. Because I don't pay for anything, it'd be nice to pay, actually pay for something, won't it? So, let's get in the queue. Right, I'm up at the castle. Right, I just want to show you something. So the bridge this morning is over there. I've seen it as like the Golden Gate Bridge, that's what it reminds me of. And we were exploring just the other side of there. Right, just the other side of the bridge. Look at this. It's a shame we're not going to see a proper sunset because of that low-lying cloud. I don't know what that is. That thing there, look. You know what? The iPhone 15 Pro Max Zoom is just so much better than, than my previous phones. 
Like, just look how far away we actually are from it. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty good, isn't it, really? That's really good. I wish I could, I could take a photo like that as well. But yeah, uh, you can really see the city. I might come round up there. I really want to stand on here, but I know that I'm going to freak people out if I do it. So I just don't know whether I don't know whether to do it. I'd quite like a photograph stood on there. Ooh, what's this place down here, look? This big sort of square where everybody's just sort of kind of stood for no real reason. I don't know, even know why they're there. Oh, is it just for the sunset? Oh no, there's a boat coming. Wait, God, all this zooming in and out, it's sending me insane. Look, boat coming in. I need to stop zooming in now. <laughs> but yeah, looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Pretty good. Right, we'll leave all these people taking selfies backwards over this behind and we'll go up around the edge of here, I think. Go and see if we can see a different view. Now, the view we didn't see earlier on is actually over here, but it's all fenced off. I can't really show you. I sort of can, but not very well. Let's have a look. Right, so we were looking over there, but over this direction, that's out to like towards the sea. It's sort of like a, a river estuary, I think. Or well, maybe that's the sea. I'm confused. I should probably look on a map. I don't know which side we're on, to be fair. Now the castle is in, in here somewhere. It's all these trees, you can hardly see it. So we'll go and have a look for it in a minute. Right, the security guard, or actually he's a policeman, just said I need to go up to the towers because the view up there is a lot better and less busy and there's no trees or barriers in the way. So I'm gonna take his advice and go and have a look. Now, this castle has actually got a bit of history that's very similar to the Tower of London. So there was a prince that lived here. Well back, God, these steps are massive. Like well back in the day. Um, I don't know what year it was, but he was basically too young to be the king when his dad died. So he got a representative to sort of look after him and help him do all the kingly things. And then he disappeared. And years later, they found him buried in this place, in a little dungeon, like underneath. Oh, there's peacocks. I'm starting to see why people say I've got ADHD. Because it's like, I'm telling you a story, and then it's like something, I'm like a magpie. It's like, ooh, sparkly. Ooh, peacocks. Oh, I do like peacocks. They are lovely. You can get them near us, at one of the pubs near us. They are really good. And then peahens. Peahens are a bit crappy, aren't they, really? You'd be gutted to be a peahen. Technically, it's the woman that's supposed to be like, all beautiful, not a fella with his big girly tail. I don't know if he can have a girly tail, but you know what I mean. So anyway, we're almost at the towers. I've still forgotten to look at what age this thing is. However, I'm reckoning this is probably the oldest part, looking at it usually had like the keep and the bit in the middle that's the oldest and that will have been the moat round the edge and then it's been built outwards over the years let's get up there quick anyway i definitely feel my filming skills have just been rubbish today but it's because i'm walking skills just as bad it's because i'm tired i'm just really tired i think I'm, i've made a decision I'm not actually gonna go out exploring tonight. I'm gonna to have a chilled evening, knocking about, I don't really know what. Just chilling out a bit, might do a bit of editing or something. Although it seems a shame not to be out and about. But I am tired. I wanna make the most of tomorrow because it's my last proper full day. And then I've got most of the day on Tuesday, but I've only done one main channel video this and then behind the scenes so seems seems a bit like i'm not doing very much 
but also I've got to think about my health and my well-being he says as he falls back down steps Jesus more steps I am sick to death of steps especially ones with old people walking down towards me because that means I've got to move I don't want to kill a, kill a few grannies right anyway I'll let them come past and seriously where are they all coming from there's millions of them I feel like a whole coach trip's just walked past me but we can see the end the end is near I don't mean I'm about to die I don't mean they're though they may be about to die to be fair look at the age of them it only takes one slip that's broken hips for a start but more than likely it's like for them too old too old to be doing things like this right you're kidding me is there more steps there's more steps to get up one of these towers and now there's a big man it was not shifting for me at all it was like you better move if you don't i'm gonna pummel you to death with your own arm that i've ripped off you can tell i'm tired i'm talking absolute balls as usual right which bit shall we go up this one or the other one uh, maybe the one over in that corner I don't know. Yeah, that corner over there. Anyone that doesn't like heights, by the way. Shall I walk along? Oh, let's walk along this wall there. There's nobody about. Oh, I don't know if I can get up. My legs aren't working properly. I don't trust it. My legs are dodgy like this. I don't trust it. Talking about my legs. This morning, after jumping off 10 feet wall, like a 10 foot wall twice, my feet, I couldn't feel my feet. My legs went weird. I kept getting like electric shocks down them. No, I need to be further around that way. Electric shocks down my legs. My feet wouldn't work. I, I couldn't feel them at all. Really strange. Never felt like that before. So you're all gonna moan at me in the comments now, I need to look after myself. But it's just a big, big drop, that's all it was. I've just realized you can't get up that tower. You can only get on here. And that's no good. Unless I climb up. Oh wait, there's some steps here with a barrier across it. You know I'm like for breaking rules. Let's let these people pass. And then we're just gonna do it. I don't care. There's nobody about. There's nobody about, so I'm doing it. Let's just do it, man. Why not? <laughs> Break the rules! There we go, look. To be fair. It's not much of a better view than we had before. Why are these people screaming? Oh, that's where we were last night. That's where my car's parked underneath that, I think. Yeah, it is. Down in that little bit. Look, this is why I couldn't fly the drone. Because of things like this. Flying over quite low. So. But yeah, you can't. It's not really any better here, to be fair. In fact, I think it's probably worse. So this is why I don't believe the police. <laughs> However, I can see different angles that I wouldn't be able to see before, even though I'm not supposed to be here. Right, I wanna know what's going off down there. It's like some sort of Christmas thing. I don't know what though. They're all making lots of noise. God knows. Anyway, that was definitely worth 15 euros. Right, I don't know if someone just shouted at me. Someone shouted over there. One thing I need to show you before I get down, before I get in trouble, is, oh, I've lost it now. I want to be in this hotel. What is it? The Hotel M Mundial. Hotel Mundial? Because I want to go to this rooftop bar. Look at these. Now, obviously, I've been to rooftop bars before, but this just looks really cool. Let me zoom in. In the, like little little meals and stuff and they're all so happy although they're very blurred but there's lots of people enjoying themselves making lot can you hear them making so much noise right 
let's head back down. I wish I could send the drone up for you. I'll have to see if I can get any drone footage from anybody else. And if I can, it'll be in now. And if I can't, I will have just said now and they're in and out. So <laughs> I know this was a bit of a it was an it was a nice tour, but it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I wanted my drone footage in there. I wanted to see the sunset before the sun set. And I feel like we haven't got either of those. But I do like taking you along with me. I feel like look, there's one of you now just coming to be with me. Not I be with not like that not like that you disgusting people not even you especially not you Right, so, so not only do you get my fat head looking tired, you get, you get a nice shadow of my hand holding the phone over my face. <laughs> right, so today's been a weird one. Like, I was so pleased with this morning how it went with the explore that I did. Um, and then I've just walked around for the rest of the day. So I'm chilling tonight. I've decided I'm not going exploring. I'm having a chill night so that I can get on it tomorrow and do some proper good exploring. I'm gonna get out of Lisbon as well. So I've spent the last day and a bit in Lisbon. I'm gonna go north, I think. So I'll get some stuff done. I've been told the prison that I was going to go to, this shadow is doing my head in. It's because the light is directly above me. But the prison that I was gonna do, you need a ladder to get in. So I ain't got a lad with me, so I'm not. That sounded like I said, I ain't got a lad with me. Look, trust me, there's no lad in my bed. So I'm having a chill out. I'm going to watch YouTube and chill out and do nothing for a change. Because my feet are killing, my legs are killing, my back's hurting. I just, I'm so tired as well. So it makes sense. So I'm listening to you. I'm listening to what you've told me to do. And now I'm going to go because this light, this shadow's doing me in. So I'll probably see you in the morning. Unless I show you what I'm going to eat in a bit. Right, I've got some crisp on my lip. I'm going to eat it. All right, bye-bye. Right, just heading back out for some food, obviously. Sounds like there's some war going off outside. Don't really know what's happening. I've been listening to some music and I could hear something. I think, what is that noise? <laughs> but yes, sounds like I'm in a war zone. But yeah, off out for some food. Give me some advice. I don't know what I want tonight. I sort of want curry again. I can't have curry again, surely. Right, so I'm making my, I've got my earphones in with music on, so I'm probably shouting at the moment. I'm heading up towards somewhere I've not been yet. My eye is looking very pink, like swollen. I'm so tired though, that's what it is. But I need to go and get food. 
because I know what I'm like. I need it. I need it. I'm not going to lie, feeling a little bit low at the moment, but that's two things, food and tiredness. And that's generally what gets me down. But looking up here, it's enough to make anyone smile. What have I come across up here? Oh, there's like mulled wine and stuff. Oh, Christmas decorations up there. What we got then? So lots of different sweets and nuts and stuff. What we got up here? Oh, ham, meat and stuff like that. Oh, this looks good. These all look really good. What are these things in here, look? Look at all these. I don't know what they are, they're like almost donut things, aren't they? All of them. Deep fried stuff, and you know I like my deep fried stuff. Look at the chocolate ones up there as well. Big fat donut things. So many good, such good stuff. One with ham and cheese in it. I think I had something like that in Romania. But, let's have a look, hot wine. That's pretty cool this to be fair. I might get something to eat here. I don't know. Because I sort of want to carry on walking further down. Oh but they've got sangria and stuff here as well. Feliz Natal. So I'm getting guessing that's their version of Feliz Navidad or what this whatever the Spanish say. Look at the big ham sandwiches. It's all sorts. They would have just sat down on a Sunday night. Eating down olives and, and all sorts. Oh, I could could definitely do the sangria. This is all so good. I know it's only small, but the atmosphere in here just seems really nice. People sat with their families, and that's what Christmas period's about. Got a roast hog on there as well. Oh, so good. So. I might come back there, but I want to carry on and go a bit further towards where the water is because I haven't really been down to the water properly yet. So we'll go and have a gander. Although I do want to go and have a look in this Portugal football shop to see if I can get something for Freddy while I'm here. But I think it might be short. See, Freddy would love it in there. Like Eusebio, Ronaldo shirts, Ronaldo waxwork. He would, he would proper love it in there. Oh, it's a shame I can't get something for him. But it's shut. So, unless I come in the morning. Oh, wow, look up here. Right, I want to show you in here, but it's copyrighted music. So I'm going to have to show you around with no music on. I just put my music over the top of it. I'm sorry, I can't help it. absolutely love where I am and I don't just mean because I've got a massive bear next to me but look where we are look at this gate and then look at this tree it's massive let's walk through it you can literally walk through it now I've got to be careful at the moment and you're gonna be angry at me I know you're gonna be angry at me so 
on the way down here, I was doing a uh, Facebook Live and I kept getting hassled by this same guy trying to sell me drugs. And it's the first time I've seen anything bad in this place. Look at this there first. How good is this? So cool. Anyway, so I got annoyed with him, turned round and, uh, and told him to fuck off. Don't think you want to look at my stupid face at the moment because it's all weird and my eyes have gone funny. Look, this is another one. They're all stood. Fuck off. Absolutely do, mate. They seem to stand on the end of the things and they're the ones that do it. Absolutely. No need. I hate it. It's one thing I really do hate. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. You could keep, I'm being watched now as well. It's all right, because there's, there's plenty of people watching you, so it's fine. He's just whistled him because I've told him to fuck off. I'm going to get my head kicked in, I'm sure I am. So, we'll, uh, we'll disappear around this corner. But he just whistled and looked at me and then his mates come. And he's keeping his eye on me. He's here, look. It's this guy here. So, we'll, we'll make him aware that we know who he is. Sorry, I, I just can't be doing with people like that. Yeah, I know who you are and I know what you're doing, so keep away, dickhead. Still there, look, still stood watching. Fucking knobhead. Absolutely can't stand stuff like that. And uh, as I was walking away, I heard him whistle and noticed this other guy started to follow me. So. I got him on live and I'm like, look mate, I know you're there and I know you're following me. And eventually he stopped following me. But I do need to be careful because you're not really supposed to tell drug dealers to fuck off. It's not the best idea, to be fair. So anyway, I'll show you around. So like I said, tree is massive. But this is more impressive for me. Look at this. What a gateway that is. That's so nice. The water's down there. I've just been down to the water. There's nothing really to see, so I'm not taking you down, but there's a big sculpture there. There's food places all around, and then and then that. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere to eat, I think, now, without getting shanked, shanked up by the local drug dealers. Oh, there's football on over that one, so I might go there. Oh, it's, it's the beer museum. Obviously, gotta love the beer museum. Look at this panda, bloody huge. It's clawing that woman to death. The tram systems here are really good as well. I know this is the most boring conversation in the world, but the trams are really good because not only do they have these new ones, they have like the old classic style ones as well that you see bobbing around, so it's really good. Right, I'm gonna see if I can find some food and if not, find lots of beer and then go to sleep. Right, gonna head off. Like I said, and get some food. It's just dead good, it's dead good. Let's have a look. Uh, you know what? I know. I always, when I look at buildings like this, I look for like bullet holes and stuff from in the war. I don't even know whose side Portugal was on. Were they even involved? I don't know. I, I am answering myself there. I'm like asking a question and then somehow answering it. But, right, I've got to be careful up here now because this is where that guy was following me, so I need to be uh, on my guard. And if I carry on filming up here, it looks like at least I'm talking to Facebook Live again. And he'll uh, leave me alone. Like I said, this city is so safe and so nice, and it's just been really, really good. It's just not the best idea to, to swear at drug dealers. And I, I've only seen two, but one of them were just doing me bonds. So I thought you got, you got full, both barrels and then hopefully I don't get both barrels. There we go. There they are. The drug dealers. Those three sat together over there. The other ones. <laughs> Not noticed me so far. Probably will do in a second though. So I'm just gonna flip you around. Let's have a look. Don't think they're following me, which is good. Good sign. 
like I say, they don't really bother me that much. It doesn't bother me too much, but I do need to be careful. I know I do. So, let me just check how many of them can I count. You can definitely see one of them. Two of them, three of them. They're all there. So they're not following me. Look at me shitting myself. I'm not, I'm not. Like, I'm still gonna watch my back though. Still gonna make sure that I'm not in a position where somebody just comes from behind. Sounds weird. Anyway, food. I told you though, the atmosphere is really good. For a Sunday night, 10 o'clock on a Sunday night, all the families are out. Everybody's spending time together. I love it, I proper love it. I want fish so I've come here because they were, it were packed in here earlier on but obviously it's getting later now I don't think I need that much fish I think I'm just gonna go for this with the baked potatoes um, baked cod fish with cornbread spinach and baked potato sounds pretty good um, I want a starter though oh, I'm sort of tempted to have that squid but I don't know I don't know which to go for I, might, I could have the mussels or the prawns. I do like prawns. What's it in? Prawns with olive oil, white wine, garlic and lemon. That does sound good. But saying it's the same with the mussels. Oh God, the choices, the choices. I'm gonna go for the prawns, I think. The same, the same price anyway. Yeah, we'll go for prawns. And this one. That's what we're having. Right. First round, prawns is here. <laughs> a rather small beer and uh, a coke. So, oh, he's brought me some chili sauce as well. That is good. That is good. I'm gonna put too much on it now. I know I am. But, oh, thank you, pal. Yeah, yeah. So. I've not had a beer while I've been here because I don't drink very often anyway. I've maybe had five pints of lager this year. I I don't drink very often. So I thought, you know what? It's Christmas, sort of. And why not? It'll help me sleep as well. So anyway, I need to crack on with this. Right, my fish has come. I'm gonna have to cut it open to show you. Because that looks very orange on camera, I'm not going to lie. doesn't really look like that in person. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, nice bit of cod in there, look. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with it. Looks really good to be fair. Good morning, welcome to Monday. So, yesterday you didn't really get a great deal of... Well, you certainly did to be fair, you got quite a lot. But there was no exploring really yesterday after the first one that I've done. So I'm in the shower, brush my teeth, and I need to get out of here in about six minutes. So, but we're gonna have a good day today. I'm feeling in a good mood because I've got over that being tired and this is why I needed to do that rest. I needed to have a rest. Anyway, I'll crack on. Right, time to leave my little room with empty bags of crisps and cans of pop in it. It's, it's looking like it's going to be, I'm going to show you properly, a sunny day for today, which is good. It's definitely a nice little place to, place to stay, better than the car, but I am going to, I'm not going to miss these stairs. I'll tell you now, my legs are killing. I walked about 15 miles yesterday in total, so my legs are really, really, really stiff today. Plus, obviously, jumping and climbing over walls doesn't help. But I'm so glad I didn't go out exploring last night because I feel so good today compared to what I felt like yesterday. My eyes are like that. So, anyway, let's let's get to the car. Actually, <laughs> I've decided it makes sense 
to set myself up for the day and have breakfast. So I'm going to the same place I went yesterday and have something slightly different, probably almost the same, but I need it, I think. It's probably a good idea to do it now rather than when I'm rushing around, that's all. All right, so I've just had my smoked salmon sandwich. Now I'm onto the pancakes, which are absolutely beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. Never had one before. Like I said, my friend Julie told me to try it. I am going to in a minute. But anyway, you can go away now while I eat. Right, almost back at the car. Um, I'm gonna miss Lisbon now. I quite like the place. It is filthy. It is dirty in places. There's piles of rubbish over there. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not gonna make it seem like it's the prettiest place because some of it isn't but there's a, just a feeling about this place i don't know what it is it feels really relaxed really chilled everybody seems to get on with everybody apart from when i swear at people that are selling drugs in the street but i only saw two of them the whole time i was here so not that bad but anyway heading oh look at this it's like they've been waiting for me to come I can't believe there's pigeons everywhere, always, wherever I go. I suppose there is in every city. Anyway, I'm gonna jump back in the car, work out how much it is I need to pay to get out of this place, because I'm probably gonna have to go back to the cash machine to get some money out. And then, when I've done that, I think we're going north. So let's see where we end up. Right, I've started to come through a lot of the little villages now. They're cute though, I'm not gonna lie. Some lovely little villages with the white and different colored houses. There's a funny smell in here today. I don't know, it smells like washer fluid. Like car washer fluid. So I don't know if I've done something, like destroyed the car somehow. But we're not far away now from the next location. I'm, I'm a bit stressed because I don't feel like I've done enough. Like the last, the next location after this one, don't know if I can get in. So if I, oh bloody hell, this car's a bit, Jesus Christ, there we go. Um, if I only get in this one and the one that I've done, two locations for like three and a half days doesn't seem very much. So I kind of need to rack my brains and find something else as well, just in case I don't get in that last one. Like I aim to do one a day, like one per full day. So I've got three, well I've got four locations, but one of them I was told once I got here, I needed a ladder to get in, which I haven't obviously got in my bag. So it's now a case of doing this one. Don't stress, don't worry about it, don't think about it until I've done it, then we plan. It was very much a last minute trip idea. I wasn't gonna do this. And then I just thought, you know what? I've got a couple of weeks before Christmas Let's just go and do it. Like, kids are still at school. It's, it's one of those, isn't it? Like, I've got a bit of spare time. Let's just go and enjoy it. So, that's mainly it. I'm enjoying it. Turn left oh, onto M5. Telling me where to go now. Yeah, that's the main thing for me. It's just like, look at this. The countryside's lovely. The roads aren't so lovely. They're a bit disgusting, to be fair. But, yeah, no, it's uh, it's been it's been pretty good. I've, I've enjoyed it so far. But I need to get some locations done as well. Anyway, I don't really know where I'm going, so I kind of need to just focus on what I'm doing, really. So I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> right, so there's a house up there. I just saw it from the road. Oh God, that's a big spot, isn't it? I saw it from the road. I, I'm not, I can't, I wasn't even gonna film at all at first because yeah, I felt a bit bad, but I went up, up this drive to it and uh, all the shutters were down, stuff were just chucked all over outside. Anyway, I sort of made my way around the back, thought, oh, this will be good if I can find one, just randomly driving past. So anyway, I did that, and uh, I noticed all the washing was on the line. This little old lady came out and uh, said something to me, and I went, I just was like, sorry, sorry, and walked away. So, <laughs> yeah, you've got to be careful, because some of these places around here, look very abandoned in half a mile and they're not they're not, they're not at all anyway carry on to the place where i was supposed to be going right next problem so i'm driving along i've got maps on and it took me to a village just up there now it's not the right place it's not very far away it's about 10 minutes drive away 
but I don't know why Maps has done that. It's like taking me to the nearest village. Now the next problem I've got is, I've then tried to put the actual location in, which it's found it, I'll show you. Right, we're there, but it won't do the route for me. It says there's no signal, no internet. So I can't, even though it says it's 4G, I can't, I don't know the route how to get to it. I'm just gonna have to guess and just drive along the little roads. And if I start to go away from where I need to be, then, then I'm just gonna have to turn around a different way. But it's a bit awkward. What is this? What is in there? I guess it's something to do with gas and electric. Just looking at that. Um, so yeah, but there's loads of little, what is this up here? Is this a church graveyard? Yeah, I think there's a little like churchyard or something up there by the looks of things. But it's lovely around here. It's like, I love it in different countries in Europe because in the UK, any bit of land people start building loads of houses on around here you've got lots of countryside and it's nice it's nice just to have like fields and like vineyard there's a vineyard or something there by the looks of things it's just it's lovely anyway i've got to try and work out where i'm going now because i think i might be going the wrong way right we're coming into a town I think we're heading the right direction because we're going along there and then I think if we go up that other road we should get there. Now a lot of these little villages, like I said a lot of the houses sort of kind of look abandoned. I just think they're just rugged and rough. Or vineyards, loads, loads of uh, things like that knocking about around here to be fair. But yeah look, like a lot of houses are just a bit I want to say grim, but I think that's that's taking the mick a little bit. I don't really mean grim. Right, do I go? Do I go further down here? Or do I go up there? That doesn't look like a proper road to me. I think we'll have to go this way. And hope for the best. Hoping there's like a turn off up to the right somewhere. Because that's where we need to go. Based on what I can see on there, the little tiny grey lines. That's that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Oh, Lord, this is just so awkward. I'm waiting for that big green go to come back. And when it does, we should be all right. See, I've gone, have I gone past it? Have I gone past that road? I think I might have, you know. We'll drive a little bit further down here. If I don't find a, nah, I've definitely gone past it. I've definitely gone past that little gray line. Look, 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 I'll show you what I mean. So I presumed I'd come along this grey line here. So that little turn I've just seen must have been it. I want to go up there. Right, I'll find somewhere to turn around before this dog kills me that's barking at me. I wasn't joking, he is actually waiting for me. He's wanting to get me. Oh, look at him. Little cutie. You alright, pal? Okay, mate. You having a nice day? Oh, you've got lovely eyes. Right, see you later. Right, let's head back this way. Right, so, based on what I'm looking at on the map, it must be up this little tiny road here. God, God, do this. Right. Oh, it is a road, it is a road. That's good. Oh, look at all the cats gazillions of cats on that bin. Hello, cats. Right. Let's go up here now. See, look, there's more and more that are looking more and more abandoned the further we go up. But I think, like, some of them are being used as storage for some of the other houses next door. Right, we're going the right way. I know we're going the right way now. That's good. That's good, and hopefully I'll get a signal when I get a bit further up here for the fine details for the last little bits of the route. Right, I think, I think we're pretty much there. I think, I hope. I think this might be on the left up here. But the thing is, when I, when I can't definitely see it on a map, it's hard to know whether I'm just about to walk into someone's bleeding house. Let me just have a look back on this, look on my phone as well. Compare it to that. Uh, oh, no, 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 
don't do that to me. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit stuck now. Right, I'm just going to have to spend a, a couple of minutes trying to work this out. Right, I think I've found it. So I'm going to go off and make the video. And I'll see you when I come back. Still in Portugal. And you know what? It's beautiful today. To say it's the middle of December, it is so warm. I've got my shorts on, I've got my t-shirt on. I sort of need a hoodie to put stuff in the pockets, but I can't wear a hoodie today. Anyway, we are at, I don't know where, I don't know what to call it really. A big house, a mansion. I, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about this place. So we're going to go and find out together. And you know what? That's what I like. Loads of people are like, why don't you do your research before you go? Because I sort of like to not know. And I like to learn with you and find out all the bits that I can and then do the research afterwards on the catch-up videos. That is why the sort of catch-up videos are so good because then you guys can get involved as well. One thing I do want to say before we go in, please, please, please hit the subscribe button and the like button purely because I want to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by the 1st of November next year because I've promised everybody, everybody's been going on about this, if we hit 100,000 before then, I will go to Leicester Square in London in a dress, full makeup, and I will do a live for two hours from the middle of London. So please, let's hit this 100,000. Tell your brother, your mother, your cousin, your friend down the street, just get them to subscribe and we'll get up to that 100,000. Anyway, let's get in. I'll show you what I can see. Look at this place. It looks amazing and the thing is we can't even really see it properly from here because of all that foliage <laughs> faces all the scenes up at the top of there this is like beautiful actually looking out into the courtyard not that you can see it because it's so bright out there but and then you all your designs there you'd have a big chandelier coming down in the middle 
that looks like the castle I did in Slovenia the other week. And then if I turn around this way, I can see his face. It's like the green man. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Look at him shooting. That could almost be here, down by the lake, shooting, although there's no mountains. Look at that. Right, I've just got out of that place. I've been in there ages, because I actually really enjoyed it and I, it took me ages to try and work it out. That guy, I found the guy that lived here, I found where he's buried and he died in his 50s. He built this place in his 40s. That's like my age. Imagine having this place in your 40s. It'd be brilliant. Back in the 1870s? 1870s. It's crazy. Anyway, off to the next one. We've got a three-hour drive now up to Braga. So I'm not going to get there till about nine o'clock. So just in time to go and get some food. And then I don't know what I'm doing tonight. So we'll work it out from then. Right, I'm doing what I know, don't like doing when I'm abroad and that's going to McDonald's. But I need to get, I've got a three hour drive. And at the end of the day, I don't really want to be stopping for very long. So this is the quick, easy way of doing things. They've got some good looking, weird stuff that they haven't got in the UK though, like eggs, which is a bit weird. But anyway, I want to get something now. Right, so instead of large fries, you can get cabbage soup vegetable soup and pea soup what is that all about i'm getting fries don't get it wrong but i think that's really bizarre um right i'm gonna get something else as well just to try it i think right i don't know whether to go it looks really rubbish on here it looks really dark it's just because it's a screen so i don't know whether to get the maestro well, maestro eggs benedict or the mccrispy creamy barbecue i've never had a mccrispy anywhere at home oh shut up um but I don't know which one to go for. I sort of want the one with the egg. But I think I'm gonna go for the chicken because I've already got a normal burger with a Big Mac. So I'm gonna go for this one. I think uh, we'll just get the item. We don't need two meals. Right, let's crack on and get that. Right, he keeps offering me extra things, which is fine. But what the hell is potato sauce? I'm gonna get some potato sauce just to try it. What the hell is that all about? Surely it's just mayonnaise. Anyway. That's not too bad. Let's get us food. Right, I'm not gonna do a food video with you where I have to eat it and show you, but I will tell you what everything's like. Obviously, Big Mac, fries, drink, we all know what they taste like. The crispy, it's got a bit of a different lid on it and it's got some raw onions on it and some sauce. So it's probably, it's gonna probably be a bit rubbish because <laughs> it's McDonald's. And I will tell you what this is like as well. I think it's just mayonnaise myself, but we'll see. Right, so, potato sauce. I'm struggling to get it out for a start. Sort of got some. Not gonna lie, it looks disgusting. It looks like someone's got a yeast infection. It doesn't really taste of anything much. Sort of gone off mayonnaise. Anyway. The crack on because I need to get out of here. I'll tell you something though, bro. I'll just call you bro. <laughs> I don't know why I just called you bro. I know why it is. I've just been watching YouTube and uh, the person on that was saying it a lot. But um, I'll tell you something. I am. Every muscle in my body is hurting. Jumping over walls, jumping off walls. I am aching all over. And every time I sit down for a bit, when I get back up again, I can hardly walk. So I've got blisters on my toes. Like I say, I walked 15 miles yesterday. Oh my God, oh, I thought I'd left the window open, not car then. Um, yeah, I walked 15 miles yesterday. So I'm aching anyway from that. Then also the uh, day before that, I did that explore where I sort of ruined my legs. My feet were numb. I could hardly, I could hardly move after that. So, I am tired, I am, I am tired. I am looking forward to relaxing over Christmas. I know that, but I'm really enjoying this trip away. I, I am, I didn't think I was yesterday. 
Yesterday morning when my eyes are like this, but yeah, gonna get off on this drive anyway. I've got about two and a half hours to go. Right, we've just got into Braga. I've not got, I've got 0 0.4 miles to my hotel. So I'm gonna go there first and then we're gonna have a look around. I think it might be raining, you know. Better not be raining, I can't be doing with rain. Like, don't get me wrong, there's about four spots on the windscreen. So I don't think we're gonna get any sort of heavy downpour, but I still don't want rain. It looks very, very quiet in comparison to, like it's cobbly as well, so that's why we're all over the place, but um, it's very quiet in comparison to Lisbon so far. However, I don't know how close we are to the actual center. Jesus. So I'll have to try and work that out in a little bit, but hopefully, it says it's got parking here as well. I'm not gonna have to pay Turn right onto Rua do Anjo, and the destination 45 is quid right. or whatever it cost me in Lisbon. I had to pay a fortune in parking. Anyway, we are, oh, this is quite good. I'll show you this in a minute. Right, two things. One, I just almost got in trouble because I almost parked outside the police HQ. And two, it's banging it down. It's not supposed to rain, it's supposed to be warm. <laughs> It is, to be fair, it, what temperature doesn't say on there? Does it say on here? Does it say on here? 17 degrees. 17 degrees isn't bad at all, but the rain can feck off. It's suddenly, like, I've literally just stopped and it started hammering it down. Might just wait five minutes and see if it stops. Right, it's about 30 seconds later and it's pretty much stopped. Thank God for that. Right, let's go and find our way into this hotel. Right, so I got out for five seconds and it banged it down again. So I'm soaking. I'm not even in the driver's seat. I'm in the passenger seat. Because I just had to jump in the car before it stopped. It's proper hammering it down all of a sudden. So I'm going to wait until it stopped again. Get my stuff and leg it to the hotel. <laughs> not good at all. Not good. You know what? I've done pretty well when I've been out and about exploring in different places. I've not really had much bad weather. This is really the first time I've got caught in a proper shower, but I'm only, it's literally just around that corner where I'm staying. So if I get my stuff, I need to take these clothes off anyway, because I stink. So it didn't really matter. It's more my shoes. I don't want to get wet shoes. Right, as you can see, it is still raining. I've parked the car in here. I don't know whether I'm supposed to. I think it's a, it's a museum car park. But there's, let me get, like there's no stopping me coming in and there's no parking like meters or anything like that. Like I said, that's the, that's the HQ of the police over there. Knowing me, I'll get myself in big trouble. Right, the, oh, it's going off with air. Um, the room is literally down here. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I booked it last minute as usual. The thing is, as long as it's clean, as long as it's got a bed, it's got somewhere to piss and shit. And um, just like, just a little bit of space. That's all I'm bothered about. I don't need it to be massive. I don't need it to be like five star. As long as it's clean, I'm fine. To be fair, even if it's not clean, I don't really care. Right, I'm gonna find it and I'll see you inside. Right, so I found the apartment right next to the uh, religious effigy shop. Like I said, we've just come from up there. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool in here, to be fair. I can't even remember what floor we're on. I think it was the second floor. This is an old building, this. Look at those steps. It's really good. I should probably check on my emails what floor I'm on. The only thing is I was looking at it on the phone that I'm now filming on. Let's have a look. All right, so we're on the second floor. Is this the second floor? Is that the ground floor? And this is the first floor? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is the first floor. So let's go up again, see if we can find it. Right, oh, this light's doing me in. Every time I try and do anything, it turns off. Right, the problem is I've got my hands full. I can't open it. I swear I've just unlocked it once. There we go. Right. Let's see if 
it's any good. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Jesus. Right, that isn't even my bed. That's someone else's bed, apparently. Oh, get off me. My bed's in here, I think. Oh. <laughs> Jackpot. This is good. This is good. I will take this all day long for like 35 quid. Nice double bed. Better shut my door, really. Fridge freezer. Full on kitchen. Nice little table to sit ed and edit at in a bit. So I don't do my back in. And uh, this just to chill out on if I want to as well. Telly in this room, telly in my room. I will take that all day long. And obviously the all important shower and toilet. Oh, look an odd, I look a very odd shape in that. Why do I look so weird? Anyway, not bad at all. What's around there? Oh, somewhere to hang your clothes when they're wet. Not that I'm gonna be washing my clothes. I even get a cooker. Not that I'm gonna use it at all. And I kind of point at the toaster. A toaster that I'm not gonna use. It looks a bit like a PlayStation. Oh no, that's a coffee machine. Oh, coffee for me. Right, so the weather outside is absolutely atrocious. So I did a Facebook Live and I ordered some food and guess what I've gone for? Obviously, I've had a curry. These naan breads are like bleeding pizzas. I don't know why there's two of them either. Um, but there was no chips, which was a bit of, a bit of a shame, but I'll, I'll stop being a typical Brit having uh, chips with everything. But yeah, needed this. So I'm gonna crack on, scram this, and then I might go back on Facebook Live for a bit. Right, good morning. So it is my final day before I've got to go back. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I've had a good sleep, although I didn't go to bed until three o'clock this morning because I was editing. Now, it's not very nice outside, I don't think. I think it's, well, it was banging it down when my food came last night. I think it's been raining this morning. But the problem is, the problem I've got is my right arm. So I sort of can't hold this. This arm is absolutely in pieces. I don't know what I've done to it. I think it may be climbing over walls again. But I've, I've really hurt it. Like holding it in this position is fine. But when I start rotating my arm, I think I've like dam oh, not damaged muscles. I've just like strained something. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but it really, really hurts. So that's going to be an issue. Slippiness doesn't help with the rain either. But I am going to go and try and get in this place. But I also want to go and have a look around Braga um, and see what it's like. It's supposed to be really nice, but it would have been nicer if it was sunny, but it's not. So anyway, I'll get out of bed. I'm afraid to go and do something. The thing is, I don't have to check out of this place till 12, which is typical. The, the day that I sort of can't really, I'm going to say I can't have a line. I've already had a line. But I can't just chill out and it's a really nice apartment as well. <laughs> I would have loved to have stayed here a bit longer, but I've got stuff to do and I've got to get back. Right, so as you as you can see, it's not it's not the nicest out there. In fact, if I zoom in look, it's pretty terrible. Oh my god, it's banging it down. This is the thing though, right? I'm gonna get soaked and then I'm gonna have wet clothes in my bag on the way back, which is not ideal. I, I really wanna go and do this castle thing, but is it worth it? I don't know, I don't know. I, I've done two videos, it doesn't seem very much. Three days, two videos, doesn't seem very much, does it? But I don't know, I don't know. We'll think about it. Right, so it's five to 12 and I'm literally still in here. I've decided I'm not going out and exploring. I've done, I've done two, which is, which is not really good enough, but I have got to chill out as well, you know, sometimes I have just got to like relax. I know I've paid money to get here and one thing or another, um, but I think the two videos I've got have been well worth it. They've been really, really, really good videos. So let's go and have a look back out, so out this window and put myself off even more. 
it is still it's still raining you can't really see on here but it is still raining so i might go into braga itself go and have a look round. um hope that my car's not been clamped in that place i put it last night and just go and maybe try and get you a video right that's been a really nice place to stay to be fair i'm not looking forward to going out into this weather at all i don't know how you open this door either oh there you go it is not nice it is it is it is not nice at all everyone's got umbrellas up coats on i'm in bleeding shorts as usual it's you know what i can deal with wet t-shirts not like a not like a wet t-shirt competition i can deal with wet t-shirts i can deal with wet hoodies and shorts it's shoes if my feet get wet and i've got to travel all the way home with wet feet because i can't put the muddy ones on that are in the car if i have to do that i don't know i don't know if i can deal with it i need to find somewhere to go and get some food though i am starving it's like 12 o'clock not had any breakfast i know i had a curry at one o'clock this morning however not great is it not great right my car's still there which is good it's not as wet as i thought it was out here it is raining but it's not as wet so we'll go and dump the stuff in the car walk down to the center and see if we can find anything worth looking at right so this is the police station the car's parked over there next to the museum the police have got like shitloads of oranges in the in the car park they've got orange trees for days i'm about to get run over again now there is a lot of buildings like this i've noticed while i've been driving around so you'd think there'd be a lot of abandoned places here because there's a lot that are like a proper fucking state so you'd think god look at they're just everywhere i suppose it's it's like spain in it but um yeah you would think there would be loads and loads of abandoned buildings around here and there probably is but they probably all passed the point of repair so like i said i just think it's not it's not worth it in this weather risking myself climbing up because i hate climbing stuff in wet weather because my balance is bad as it is so add slippy surfaces into that as well not the best not the best so i am being good i'm doing what you told me to do weighing things up um and i've not because i've not got andy to tell me to be good look look another one here yeah i've got nobody to tell me no you shouldn't do that so in my head you're there going don't do that and i won't but it is a bit of a letdown that i've only got two videos really but like i said banging videos fucking probably one of the best videos i've ever done one of them anyway let's keep going right so while heading down to the main what well, i think the main square down there i've just popped past this now, i don't know whether i'm supposed to be filming in here or not look at this oh my lord i didn't know you were there <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> oh, yeah look at this place absolutely amazing and i'm now going to make a hasty exit that woman just scared the absolute shit out of me right i walked in and what i saw in my head was the beautiful artwork and then a statue sat with the head in the hands at the side I didn't realise it was an actual person. I proper shit myself then. Because it just went like that. Oh my God. Anyway, let's have a look where we're going now. Right, we're in some sort of square. Uh, with quite an imposing building here. What's this one? Oh, it's a hotel. Bloody hell. Looks pretty impressive inside as well. I would not have said that was a hotel. I would have said that was like a town hall or something. Wow. Anyway, there's the big Braga sign up here. Surely we can get something to eat around here somewhere. Look at that bell tower as well. That's good. Wow, that place has got some work done on it. Now, it's one euro to get in, which I'm happy to pay. However, it says no cameras in there, so there's no point. But it does look like it's going to be a nice little place. It's just a shame about this weather. I hate I hate it when it's raining. It just ruins everything really, doesn't it? 
Oh, that's good luck. That'd make a nice little photo, wouldn't it? With you stood next to that. Unfortunately, I've got nobody to take photos with. Nobody's going to take a photo of me. Right, this place looks all right. I've just had a look at the menu on it. It's not bad. I actually looked at it and thought, you know what? It looks really expensive. But I've just looked at the, the online menu with one of these QR codes. It's really good. Really, really good. Look, I'll let you have a look yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and get in there out of this rain. And you know what? Looks really good over there. I'm gonna have to have a look in a minute. Right, my first course has come. Now, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like olives. I really like olives, to be fair. Got croquettes. Let's break one of those open and have a look. Now, <laughs> not gonna lie, that doesn't look appetizing, but I bet it's beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a go, and I'll let you know how I get on. I'll tell you something, these are really tasty, really nice. Like I said, they don't look really appealing, but it's, it's, it's like, I don't really know what it is. I think it might even be fish. I don't know. It's really nice though. It could just probably do with something like aioli, like some sort of dip, something to dip it in. I don't know what. Right, so starter, means you're already. Look at that for a burger. That is better than the McDonald's crap I had yesterday. Look at the cheese on that and some fries. I can dip my stuff in there. Even better. Right, seriously. It's the messiest meal in the world, but it is so good. So, so good. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I just wanted to show you the mess I'm going to make. Right, that was absolutely amazing. It's so, so nice. Now, the problem is... I don't think I showed you my coffee and the coffee was the best bit. So I'll, I'll put a photograph in and it was really good, like really good. Right, we're gonna go and have a look round. It stopped raining, which is good. Have a look up here and then I think maybe have a look down there. We've got about an hour before I need to set off. So not long really. I feel like I have wasted today, but I was up till three o'clock, like I said this morning. I probably shouldn't have done that but I needed to get the video out for what is tonight, which is Tuesday, uh, which is the last behind the scenes in Ireland. So I needed to get that up, which I've sorted, um, and then get some other stuff edited as well, because the video I did yesterday, I know somebody else has been there, and I'm trying to get the video out before they do, because they're a bigger channel than me. A lot of people will already know who this is. They're a bigger channel than me, and I think I need that little extra boost. They don't need it as much as me. But anyway, that's just YouTube politics for you. And the and the person who's got been there, I absolutely adore him. He's an absolute top lad. But I've got to put me first. Anyway, I'll show you where I am. I bet this at night. Oh God, that looks a bit weird. I bet this at night looks fantastic. You know, got a big. A very Portuguese looking building with the tiles on there. Hey, all the lights are flashing like mad. Look at that. It's not actually flashing in real life. It just is on the camera. I actually don't know if it will record like that, but it's weird. Then you've got a little um, train to take you around. Obviously, there's not many tourists out and about today because the weather is absolute shite. We are up in the hills, as you can see. Um, I think there's hills in the clouds over there as well you just can't see them so i can hear music going on i know somewhere there's a palace or a, a big building and you have to go up like loads of steps to get to it but i'm not sh i'm not sure where that is i don't know where it is so i'll have a quick wander around and have a look the problem is as well and it's a good thing this is a good thing but it's not for me there's music playing over speakers on every single street. So I'm gonna get copyright claimed just for walking down a street. Um, there's some very odd things there. All these things are made out of rubbish. Christmas decorations made out of rubbish. Quite a good idea. Let's have a look. It looks like Christmas trees made out of bottles and tires. Father Christmas made out of tires. It's actually quite a good idea to be fair. It's quite creative. So we'll keep looking, see if we can find something spectacular. I'm loving that bottle angel. But yeah, look at that, that's quite, it's quite pretty really. It would be at night. Right, let's keep going. Right, there wasn't very much down there, so we're heading back past the Christmas tree with a hole in it. 
They all seem to have holes in, which is weird. It's quite cool though. Um, and then we're gonna head this direction. I don't really know what's up here. Probably just a load of shops to be fair. I wanna find something like a church or something cool, like with a really good designs to show you. So many good food places, like selling quite strange looking items. Like that man's a strange looking item. He's just been staring at me. Uh, but I think it's the mix of me holding this and not speaking Portuguese. I think it throws them a little bit and they start looking at me. My arm is killing this arm. I think I've got a rep repetitive strain injury and I don't mean from that. There's been none of that. I mean, from holding this camera in this position, I think that's what it is. So it's hurting. I don't care because I want to get some good footage for you. Now, it just looks a bit grim because it's it's been raining, grey skies. I actually think this place would be lovely later on at night or when it's sunny. It'd be really good. Oh, I don't know what that place is over there. It's like a a castley churchy place. And then this big building here. Go and have a look at that. Oh, just stood in a massive puddle. Yeah, there's that as well. There's some really nice buildings knocking about. But like I say, there's all these Christmas songs on. It's it's a nightmare for me and uh, monetization. I'm telling you now. Yeah, look. What is this thing? It's just a random, a random thing. They need to clean these walls up a bit. They're a bit green, but. It's like a random tower and a, a little cross on a stick. Let's go and have a look what it says. See, look, this would have made a good one to explore if I could have got in it. Although I don't know what's in there. Let's have a look through this window, shall we? A toilet. Bloody hell, that would have been good, wouldn't it? Exploring a toilet. You can see where the other buildings have been up against it at one point or another. Now they've changed stuff. Yeah, I do wonder what this was once. I'm not climbing up to have a look. Let's look in here. Hmm. Maybe an old market hall or something? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this is or what it's for. There's some old looking graffiti on here. That looks like 17 something. But there's some more there as well, you can just about see. But yeah, I don't really, I would be tempted to jump over that if I thought I could get in it. I don't think I can, right, let me just turn round. Yeah, there's like a snake, look at the snake thing there. Where is it? There. I don't know what this place is. If that door was open, I'd be tempted to jump over. Is it open? See, I can't actually see if it is. It sort of looks like it is. Shall I do it? How are you? I've got the wrong shoes on, as usual, to be getting over fences and walls. I might just do it. Right, right, I've got over. I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm definitely gonna get in trouble. Let's have a look. I bet it's shut. I bet there's a gate or a door. Oh, there is. There is. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, it's locked. Definitely locked. Worth a look. <laughs> That's my one bit of exploring done for today. The guy in the office down there is just giving me a very funny look. But, I've got to get back over here now. And it were a lot easier climbing over it this, this way than it's going to be going that way. <laughs> I've just got absolutely soaked. My, track, my shorts are wet through. Um, that were hard. <laughs> Because there were a drip constantly coming down on my head, a big fat drip. I'm a big fat drip. Anyway, look at these buildings. Nice little fancy arches, but it's these. It's the tiled buildings I really like. Look at that. So pretty, aren't they? Rather than just stone. Like, don't get me wrong, I like good old stone built buildings. It's just a change, isn't it? It's just something a bit different. Anyway, I need to stop filming because driving home for Christmas is on the rate, on the music and I'm gonna get done. Right, so this is the weirdest shop I've ever seen. I've gotta be quick because this music is literally right above me. I need to talk over it so you can't hear it. 
but it's a shop just selling tins and tins and tins of of sardines with different years on them. What is that all about? I'm just gonna have to do you a little montage, I think, of all the different shops because I can't I can't deal with this. I think there must be some, like, I'm outside this place, which is pretty cool, and obviously it's a church. However, I have a feeling the people across the road don't like the church being there. In fact, they don't like the guy that's in charge of the church. <laughs> you just need to look at the name. So it's, it's restaurant, obviously without the tea. Bomb Jesus. <laughs> he's, a bit, he's a bit bad when they've got Jesus across the road. <laughs> Restaurant bomb, Jesus. What is that all about? Right, the rain's starting again. So I think it's time to head back to the car and head off to the airport. Right, back to the, the filthy car. I will give it a shake out before I get out. It's not actually that bad for me. So back to the police station. We're off, we're going. Oh my Lord, look at the weather. I'm so glad I decided not to go exploring. And I'm so glad I set off early because this is horrendous. There's no way I can get any sort of speed either. It's, it's terrible. I'm up in the mountains and it's just torrential. I, I hope the road doesn't flood. I honestly hope I can get to the airport without dying in time. I'll, obviously, if I die, I won't get there in time. You know what I mean? Anyway, I've got to concentrate really. Right, so, got to the shuttle bus. Late, as usual. Right, so, I have got about 20 minutes to get through security. This is not like me at all. I'm never late. Always late, always. So, 20 minutes to get through security. She dropped me off at the wrong place, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. However, Record Go, which is the company that I use, I owe them 200 <laughs> I owe them 200 pounds because when I went to Barcelona, wow, where is Terminal 2? How do I get to Terminal 2? Is that it? I don't know. But anyway, when I went to Barcelona, I was supposed to drop the car back off at Barcelona but I kind of got it wrong because I was supposed, I thought I could drop it off at somewhere totally different. So I dropped it off 900 miles away. <laughs> so yeah, they, uh, they tried to charge me and it didn't happen. So I owe them money. I don't know where I'm going. Just give me a minute. Right, so I've managed to get on a shuttle bus because it's about a three mile walk that way. So he says jump on here. It's going in about five minutes. So that still doesn't give me very long, but I think we should be all right. I think, I think. I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so if I have to go tomorrow instead, it's just how it is, isn't it? But anyway, I'm looking tired, definitely looking tired. Right, I'm in Terminal 2. There's not many people here, which is good, because that means hopefully I can get straight through security. I know this camera's bouncing about a lot, it's because I'm just bombing as fast as I can. Oh yeah, there's about five people to go through security, which is good. Right, gotta go. Right, straight through 
security, no issues at all. Not like on the way here. It was horrendous on the way here. Gates up, so literally got to go straight to the gate. No hanging round. I need the toilet. I'm not gonna lie, I need the toilet. But I'm hoping there's gonna be a toilet near the gate. If not, I might have to go on the plane, which I don't really like doing, if I'm being honest. But anyway, I'll see you when I get up there. Right, finally, an hour late, we're out onto the runway and the plane. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm on a middle seat. Middle seat's horrible. Anyway, there it is. Crack on, get on the back. We're on the big queue. At least I, it's cooler out here. It was boiling inside. Absolutely sweaty. Right, see you in a bit. In fact, I don't know why I'm saying see you in a bit. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next trip. This is going to be the last trip this year. So if I've not already said it to you, hope you have a great 20, uh, 2024.